So recently on Gilbert Arenas' podcast, Steph Curry stated that he believes that he is the GOAT point guard. Now, as an avid NBA fan who got to watch Steph Curry throughout his early days in prime, it's understandable why he and many people believe this. I believe a case could easily be made in his favor. Michael Jordan then chimed in by sending Stephen A. Smith a text showing that he disagreed and that he thinks the title actually belongs to Magic Johnson. While I was not like a big NBA fan during the Magic playing days, watching clips of him and looking at his numbers, it's definitely understandable why Michael Jordan and many others believe this too. I believe a case could be made easily in his favor as well. For that reason, here on We Miss the Exit, I'd like to go over my top point guards of all time. And spoiler alert, my GOAT is not Magic Johnson, nor is it Steph Curry. Having never played more in high school basketball, my opinion should never really matter, but I'm going to have one anyway. Can you guess who it is? There are many to choose from, so let's go over a bunch of the great ones. So now let's take this exit and get into it. First, I'm going to give you a couple honorable mentions. Up first, Steve Nash. He was a revolutionary type of player who paired very well with D'Antoni and Amari. Next is Gary Payton, who was an amazing defender and even better trash talker, uh, who got very close but never got a championship. I also have Oscar Robinson, and I never really had a chance to watch him, but it's tough not to be able to put him on this list. Now, Chris Paul, I'm not a big fan of his because he's a big flopping who complains too much and could never really win. But, however, I can't really deny the ability and the skills, though. And finally, I have Damian Lillard to round out my honorable mentions. He's probably my second favorite point guard of all time, but I just don't see him making the top five list. Number five, Jason Kidd. While he doesn't necessarily put up the stats that many of the others did, Kidd is who I modeled my game after. He's a pass for somewhat flashy, defensive point guard who would rather lead a team than put up numbers. Number four, I'm going to put John Stockton, who is the prototype of a point guard. He was able to take that old school, unathletic way of playing point guard and turn it into an art. Yeah, he also played alongside the third highest score in NBA history, but an argument could be made that alone wouldn't be anywhere near as high on the all-time scoring list without Stockton. While he wasn't the most athletically dominant point guard, he does hold the record for all-time in assists and steals in the NBA. He just never was able to win a championship. Number three is where I'm going to put Magic Johnson. Now, while I never had a chance to watch any of his games, you can understand why Michael Jordan put him as your number one. He's a six foot nine point guard who could also play center in the NBA Finals while a rookie, and that's tough to replicate. He also played with such ease, like he was ahead of his time. He made everything look like an art when he played. Plus, he was able to lead LA to five different championships. Number two is where I'm actually going to put Steph Curry, the man who revolutionized the NBA in such a crazy way. Kids these days don't yell out Kobe when they hit a big shot. It's always Curry. Having coached nine to 12 year olds, I see the game change in all these players. No matter their size or position, these kids can hit threes at decent clips. And unlike guys like LeBron, he never had to join up with other Hall of Famers in order to win. Steph Curry was the foundation for that franchise, as they then drafted all those guys that mesh well with Curry's godlike three-point shooting godlike. and ability to get to the basket. Now, the defense is very suspect, but very few players in the NBA have changed the way the game is played. You gotta think like Shaq, George Mikan, and Will Chamberlain. And my number one point guard of all time goes to Isaiah Thomas, a guy that many NBA fans overlook. Now, I never had a chance to actually watch Isaiah Thomas' games in real life. I get to see a bunch of clips, but I still have him as my number one point guard of all time. Thomas was one of those players that played with that killer mentality, an important one when it comes to leading your team to two different championships. An all-star every year he played except his last one, which he wasn't able to play the entire season. Thomas is that hard-nosed guy who played great defense as well. Now, as a Knicks fan, I absolutely loathe Isaiah Thomas and blame him for a bunch of the Knicks' well below average performances for that long stretch of years. So those are my top five point guards of all time. Now, I know nobody probably had Isaiah Thomas as their number one person, but where would you put your top five? Who would you want on your list? Where would you put Isaiah Thomas? Would he even make your honorable mentions? Let me know.